It was a great experience. Um, it's a great organization. I'm very happy to be a part of this team. Great players, and uh, you know, it was it was rough because when I got here, we had a lot of guys hurt. And since I've been here, a lot of guys have getting have have been hurt. So uh, it's been a lot of ups and downs. I've heard, you know, before I got here and since I've been here, and I think at the same time we all competed and played hard, you know, to try to do what we could do. And um, I'm just happy to be a part of this organization. You proud of this season? Uh, like I said, I'm, I haven't been here the whole year, so uh, I think I'm proud of what we've done in the, the last couple of months with what we had. You know, we had a lot of key guys hurt, and uh, I think, like I said, we all competed to the very end. Uh, we, we played hard, we practiced hard, we worked hard, and uh, I think that's the biggest thing. Still in it. I mean, like I think Scott said earlier today. You know, at some point, everybody could have just folded. Yeah. Down. I mean, how how did these guys? How did you guys stay in it? Um, just leadership. You know, guys like Russ, uh, Nick Collison. You know, they bring a lot of leadership to this team and keep everybody, you know, uplifted through bad times. And um, I've I've been on some bad teams, and it's hard to play through those kind of situations. It's hard to come to come to work and come to practice. You know in those situations. So when I got here, everybody was in good spirits. And like I said, just a lot of competitors on this team and wanted to win. You floated around a ton since you, you, know, you left Charlotte. Do you feel like this is the place? I know there's only one more year on your deal, but this is the place moving forward kind of want to stick. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to be a part of this team. Um, I think when everybody's healthy and playing together, I think we definitely have a championship team here. Um, great city, great fans, and a great organization. So, I would love to spend a long time here and, and play, you know, play for this team. What kind of second unit could you guys have next year? Uh, I think we could be pretty good. You know, um, obviously most of our second unit was new guys, so uh, we haven't had a chance to play together and get a chemistry. So, I think going into the summer, you know, working out with each other and going into training camp next year, I think we could be a really good second unit. Kevin talked about being fueled by some of the critics and some of the things he sees on social media, things like that. Has he always been like that since you've known him? Kind of get fired up by those things? And just kind of what's your take on how um, he does that? I knew he always was into social media and stuff like that, but uh, I didn't. I didn't know it really fired him up. Fired him up like that. You know, he's always just loved basketball, loved being the best. Uh, so. I think the fact that he's getting older and those kind of things are starting to kind of get to him and he, you know, he works so hard and people still have negative things to say about him and his team, you know, it, it kind of fires him up. So I think he just wants to put all those, all those people, those doubters to, to rest and uh, just show what we can do. What's the better Kevin Durant? Fired up Kevin Durant or kind of chill? Either way, coffee? either way, he's Kevin Durant, man. So he's, a, he's the best player, I think, in the league and, you know, when he's healthy, I mean, he could do whatever he wants any given night, no matter if he's fired up or not. Um, he just has that competitive edge and wants to be the best when he step when he steps out on the floor against anybody. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're all excited for him to get back and be able to play with him. Uh, he brings so much to the team offensively and defensively, um, you know, double teams, stuff like that. They make it easier for guys like myself and other players to get open shots. What's the, what's he just kind of doing during all this behind the scenes when you talk to him? Yeah, I mean, you know, he definitely was down at times and trying to stay positive. And, you know, obviously he wanted to be out there with us and be around us, um, you know, but – it's tough right now for him. He just has to, you know, rest and, and let his foot, you know, heal. And he's itching to get back on the court already. But you know, um, it's better for him to just take his time and, and and use his time to to heal as much as he can. So when he does come back, you know, he, obviously he he goes hard whenever he's on the floor, um, and he's gonna work hard harder than ever. I think this time around. If you as close with him as anybody else in the league? Uh, I think so. I mean, me and KD, you know, we met in in college, so. We went through a lot in college. You know, you spend a lot of time with guys in college more than you do in the NBA. And, uh, you know, we're real close. You know, even though we, we didn't talk as much since we've been in the NBA, you know, when we get back together, it's like we never left. You know, and, uh, you know, he tells me a lot of things that he doesn't tell most people, I think. So, um, you know, just having that relationship is good. And, like I said, I know KD better than anybody when it comes to basketball. He doesn't care about anything but basketball. Um, so, 
I just I just hope he gets healed quick and gets back out there. When the trade happened and with all the injuries, you guys kind of had to get this thing running going 100 miles an hour. How much of a benefit will it be to have a whole off-season, pre-season training camp to kind of get everybody on the same page? Yeah, I mean, it'll be great. You know, I'm coming from other teams, each team has, has different calls on defense and offense. So sometimes it was kind of confusing out there on the court, you know, things were being called on defense and I was kind of myself included was thinking you know defensive calls I, I had for other teams so um, you know just having a chance to understand everything and learn the language of this team and the culture of this team offensively and defensively it'll help a lot. What was your impression of Russ before you became his teammate and how might that have changed after you became teammates? Uh, I've been knowing Russ since high school played against each other in college um, I always knew the type of player he was um, but being here as his teammate, I never noticed the things he does off the court to prepare himself for the game, his uh, his mental state before a game, and how he approaches every game. You know, I mean, some guys, depending on who we playing, might take the night and be like, okay, this might be an easy matchup. You know, whatever the case is. But Russ, it doesn't matter who we're playing. He goes out there like we're playing for a championship every night, and uh, I never knew that. You know, playing against him, but not him. I'm his teammate. It kind of rubs off on everybody and makes us all want to feel that way. Within the organization, that maybe is kind of even surprising to you at all? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of things. Um, you know, just as far as the way they feed us here, and the, the the training staff, how they treat us, you know, um, taking care of your body is the most important thing with this organization, I think, and it goes a long way, you know, the way we play. Um, so, I mean, they just take care of us as players the best way possible, and it really helps us, you know, be ready for games and practice and, and play with that full, that full um, mind, body, and spirit that we need to give our all on the court. When uh, Scotty down the stretch got into a pretty good rotation, pretty regular rotation, you played a couple of stretches with Russ. How did you feel that went when you guys spent four or five minutes together on the court? What were the pluses and the minuses? Uh, pluses, I mean, it gave us a lot of ball handlers out there, guys that can attack. It was good. You know, um, I like playing with Russ. Um, you know, and I mean, at times, you know, it was hard because I'm so used to having the ball in my hand and, you know, I would be off the ball a lot. So, just to find a rhythm sometimes and, and you know, be locked in, you know, to, to make open shots, it's, it's it's hard, but it's something I'm going to work on this summer, uh, being able to move without the ball and get to open spots so when Russ throws the ball or passes it to other guys, I'll know where to be. It's just an adjustment that I would have to make. Kyle got off to a slow start when you guys first got here, but he seemed to pick it up uh, down the stretch. Just what was the difference for him, and, and what didn't we see in Kyle Singler that, we probably could see if he had a full year here. Yeah, like you know, just like any player, it's it's hard when you're coming from different a different situation and being thrown into the fire with a team that's already together. Um, and I think Kyle did his best. You know, it's it's hard to find a rhythm. You know, as basketball players, when we out there, you know, a lot of people don't know. You, you, I mean, if you don't have a rhythm, you're not gonna look good or play good. And I think for him, he was just trying to find a rhythm, and eventually he found it. I think through playing defense. Um, that kind of fired him up, and uh, he's a great defender. He kind of does all the little things, kind of like a glue guy, and he can score. I mean, you give him the opportunity, I think Kyle will score a lot, and, and I think next year he'll bring that. Back next year, and obviously he doesn't have to start playing behind KD. How is that role going to help him or benefit him in terms of being more who he is? Yeah, it'll help him a lot. He'll be able to uh, you know, get his thoughts together on the bench and watch the guys in front of him. Um, but at the same time, Kyle is the type of guy, I'm pretty sure you noticed this year, that he can go a game without playing at all and be thrown in the next game and play well. So um, that's hard to do. It's, it's really hard to do on this level, and uh, you know I respect a guy like that. Anybody else? No problem.